guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Booktubeathon TBR. So I'm going to do the challenges. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link some videos down below to explain. But basically it's like a week long of reading books and there are challenges involved. Some on Instagram, some on YouTube and there are also challenges just for which books you should read. And I decided to try them. So here we go. So the first challenge is read a book with a person on the cover and for that I chose Don't Point That Thin At Me <laughs> by Kirill Bonfiglioli? That's not as right is it? But anyway it's the first Mordecai novel and I there is a person like he's lounging there with a gun and I love the Mordecai movie so much and I immediately ordered this book when I realized it was based on the book series but then never read it for some reason. I don't know why. But yes, person on the cover, sort of. <laughs> so the second challenge is read a hyped book. And for that, I'm gonna be choosing an ebook. Uh, the Upside of Unrequited Unre um, by Becky Albertelli. <laughs> and I've just, I've seen this book a lot on uh, booktube recently. So I figured it's probably a hyped book and a lot of people seem to like it. Um, I also saw it like on um, the Mitchell Fruka tags. Some people thought that this was the favorite book of this year, so I'm really excited to read it. We have number three finish a book in a day. So I don't know which book I'm gonna finish in a day, but probably just gonna stick to this one because it's really short, so it should be <laughs> really easy to finish it in one day. You can have one book for multiple challenges, by the way. Chance number four, read about a character that's very different from you. So a lot of these books have characters that are different from me. <laughs> but for this one, I'm choosing Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. So I'm not a princess or a queen, whatever. I'm not an heir to the throne. I don't have two sisters who I have to fight with, I think, to the death for the throne. So yes, very different. <laughs> I've also heard some really good things about this book, so I'm really excited to finally read it. Now we have challenge number five, the chance that I've heard most people complain about is read a book entirely outdoors. So for that I'm choosing Edgeland by Jake Halpin and Peter Kujawinski. Um, it's, it's very short. To be fair though, if you know, the weather right now is kind of shite. <laughs> so if it stays this way, I do live in the Netherlands, you can't depend on the weather. Um, I would just read it near an open window and say that that counts because I'm not going to sit outside with an umbrella to read a book. Sorry, I'm just not going to do that. Although that does sound kind of fun now I say it. But yes, Edgeland. Challenge number six is read a book that you bought because of the cover. And for me, that's Cockheart. Um, a Stunning Adventure of Danger and Daring by Peter Bunsell and I just I love the cover so much it looks I don't know like paper art that has been cut out and kind of steampunky and I don't know it just I love this cover that is why I picked it up and why I eventually bought it and I actually have part two already which you might have seen in a previous haul not too long ago uh, so I'm finally gonna <laughs> read part one. And the last challenge is to read seven books. So I've got two books left to read. One of them I actually bought like an hour ago. I got some book, um, what do you call them? Gift cards, I guess, uh, for my birthday. Uh, so I went to the bookstore and I bought 10 Things I Can See From Here by Carrie Mack, which has like this really bright cover. <laughs> um, it says on the front, freak out, calm down, repeat. So basically this is about a girl who has severe anxiety. And I have severe anxiety and I have... I quickly looked it up on Goodreads while I was in the store to see if it's any good. And there are a lot of mixed reviews, but one girl's like, I read this because I have anxiety. But then I got like super anxious reading it. So hopefully that won't happen to me, but I am just... I'm really excited to read this one. And then last, we have another book that I've had for a while now. It's Nightly and Sun by Rohan Gavin. Um, so this is basically like a, a crime detective-ish book. It's about this kid, I think, who like falls in his dad's footstep to become a detective. And that, I just love books like that. So and I want to read more of those kind of books. So that's why I picked this one as the last one. So these are all the books that I will be reading. I included my little e-reader there. Um, so yeah, basically I have seven days to read all of these books. So hopefully <laughs> I'll manage. <laughs> yeah, next week is gonna be fun. It's gonna spend being spent entirely reading. Uh, if you want to 
participate you don't have to have a booktube channel or anything like that you don't have to stick to these challenges uh, the idea is to read as many books as you can in one week and kind of like seven is kind of like the set challenge but you can read more or less than comic books or manga or whatever you want to read just read and have fun you can read one book if that's like a lot for you in one week go for it and yeah so let me know if you'll be participating and also please do subscribe if you haven't already to you know be notified when i make more videos because there are going to be video challenges and i didn't do those last two years but i do want to try it this year um we'll see how it goes but yes so i might be uploading like pretty much every day next week i don't know i hope you enjoyed this video i also hope you enjoyed my last video which was a vlog about baking my birthday cakes <laughs> um i actually uploaded that yesterday so two videos in succession but the readathon starts on Monday, so I'm so excited! I normally miss readathons, I always like read about readathons like on the last day or just after it finished, but I'm participating. And that's all for now and I will see you soon with another video, goodbye!